Hey everybody, how's it going? Well, I recently picked up one of these Cimarron Lightnings. Uh, this one's chambered for the 38 Special or 38 Colt. as the 3.5 inch barrel. And I've got some issues with it. I have three issues with this revolver. The first one is, here's the cylinder. And you can see it's got these raised areas right here between the chambers. I don't know why they exactly have this. Oop, my light went off. Motion sensor. Come on, turn back on. Come on. There you go. So, you can see right there, it's got the raised se uh, sections right there. Why, I don't know. Well, two of these chambers would not take a cartridge. Once you went to when you went to load it, the cartridge would only go, the cartridge would only go in to about right there, and it wouldn't go any further where it's supposed to be. Well, it turns out you can see these edges right here. The cartridge was hanging up. The rim of the cartridge was hanging up right there on these edges. So I had to take a file and just kind of lightly file away on those edges and then after I did that now the cartridge will seat properly. So that's the first issue. Here's my second issue. That firing pin <laughs> is really uh, really doing the trick there. I used three types of ammunition thus far. The Federal, Magtech, and the Remington. Um, it really tears those primers up on the Federals. Not so much the Magtech. Every once in a while it will. It'll puncture the primer on the Magtech. But nothing like it does with the Federal. Uh, and, but I don't notice it on the uh, Remington brass. I did file just a hair off the firing pin and it's still doing it so I don't know if I should file any more off of that firing pin or just leave it the way it is. Comment please and let me know what you would do. So that's the second issue. Uh, the third issue is the uh, federal brass once you fire it the cylinder, when you go to cock it, the cylinder drags and sometimes it uh, locks up. So I don't know if it's that brass expanding. Once it's been fired and it's putting too much pressure between the frame and the cylinder. I don't know, but I, I don't notice it with the Remington. Every once in a while with the Magtech brass, but the Federal was really bad. It's getting better but when I first started shooting this the the Federal was really causing this revolver to hang up. That's what she's doing. Uh, I'm gonna put her back together. We'll take her outside and I'll shoot it for you. Like I said it has gotten better with the uh, Federal brass. It's not doing as it's not seizing up as much as it initially was but it still seizes up every once in a while. So it's a little windy outside so I'm gonna go probably down in the trees to try to get out of the wind and, and put some rounds through it. So I'm going to start off with these Magtech. Yeah, these are 158 grain lead round nose. Right there. That did all right. Since it has the short ejection rod, it doesn't punch them out all the way. So you have to assist in getting the uh, spent casings out. All right, let's do six more of the Magtech. shooting a little it's, it's hitting a little low and it's kind of binding up a little bit 
right there it has. So I don't know if the brass is expanding and then it's just too tight against that frame. It starts dragging, like right there. It doesn't do that when it's unfired brass, but after you fire it, it kind of starts to drag. All right, here's some Federal 158 lead round nose. Out oh, there, she's locking up. There, she's locked up. So let me try six more rounds of the Federal. You can see what the firing pin is doing to a lot of these primers. All right. Unfired brass, no problem. Let's see what happens after we uh, fire that brass. Locked up, there we go. Locked up, there we go. Locked up, there we go. There she's locked. Now we're going to try some Remington. Uh, this is 130 grain, 130 grain FMJ. Right there. Let's see how this does. And that spent brass seems to be all right, not locking up any or offering any resistance. So let's try six more of the Remington. And no resistance with the fired brass from the Remington. So I'd say out of the three types of ammunition, it does not like the Federal. Um, seems to like the Remington, then the Mag, then the Magtech, and then the least is the Federal. Kind of disappointing. Um, I'd expect it to take any 38 with no issues. I had to do a little filing on it from the get-go. That firing pin, it's really, really sticking out there once it dro the hammer drops. See if you can see how deep that is. And like I say, it's puncturing some of the primers, so I don't know if I should file a little more off the uh, firing pin. Or just leave it. What's your, what's your take on that? Yeah. All right. Thanks for watching. Uh, safe shooting.